In the fall of 2022, we started caring for a mare whose eye had been infected for so long it was almost gone. Earlier that year, she and four other horses and two goats were seized by law enforcement for neglect. They were sick with respiratory infections and starved. One of the mares was a Mustang who used to be wild in Wyoming and whose eye was slowly decomposing in the socket. Once they were in the custody of law enforcement, veterinarians worked to save their lives. Sadly, one of the horses, the only gelding, succumbed to the respiratory infection in his weakened state and had to be euthanized. When the animals were stable, they were turned over to our care to continue their rehabilitation and to get the Mustang's eye taken care of. We didn't know anything about the horses, which included the Mustang with the infected eye, an almost solid dark bay mare, and a lighter bay mare with a moon-shaped star, a black and white pinto mini horse, and two goats. We named the Mustang Gion after the mythical Chinese bird that has only one wing and one eye. The myth goes that these birds were created in pairs, which eat with each bird being the perfect half of the other. They represent power, wisdom, and good fortune. We felt it was the perfect name for this girl. The other bay, bay mares we named Phoenix and Shakora after the mythical Hindu birds that feed on the moonbeams for her moon-shaped star. The mini horse was named Sunday, and the two goats became Boba and Chuck. Our first priority after taking care, after taking custody of them, was to get Gian's eye removed so that she could begin healing. From what we had pieced together about a year before, Gian had developed an ulcer in that eye. Left untreated, it very painfully ate away at her eye over the next year. The surgery of removing the eye is called an enucleation, and then they stitched her eyelid closed to let it heal. Being a prey animal, losing part of their vision can cause some horses to become scared more easily and harder to care for. But losing her sight on that side never seemed to bother Gian much. Once she was healed, we began evaluating what kind of training she had. At first, we started over with groundwork, since there were a lot of signals to relearn with only one eye. When we saddled her for the first time, she wasn't at all worried. And her first ride, she was a little nervous and rusty, but never missed a beat and trusted her rider to guide her when she couldn't see the obstacles on that side. As time went on, she became more and more comfortable, and in early spring of 2023, she was adopted to be a riding horse for a younger teen. Throughout that summer, they took lessons and learned together, but unfortunately, their family situation changed, and they asked if Gian could come back to the rescue. Since all of our horses have a safety net for, with the rescue for life, of course, we brought her home in the end of 2023. She had been cared for well, and after a few quick rides under saddle to make sure we still had an accurate description of her abilities and her limitations, she was once again searching for her perfect family. A few weeks ago, we received an adoption application from a family in Oklahoma who recently had to euthanize their one-eyed mare, who was over 30 years old. They saw Gian online and wanted to come meet her. Her references confirmed that she was a wonderful and experienced horse owner, and a few days ago she made the long drive from Oklahoma to Wyoming to come meet Gian. We knew she would fall in love with our sweet girl, and that's exactly what happened. Happy gotcha day, Gian. Enjoy the warmer weather. <laughs>